Yup, this is it. The third generation of the Yonex Astrox 88 series, and there are a total of 11 rackets in this entire range, including both the 3U and 4U rackets. I cannot believe it's actually been three years since the second generation of Astrox 88s were released, but in this video, I'll be focusing on the flagship badminton rackets of this series, the Astrox 88 S Pro and the Astrox 88 D Pro. Here's a quick list of things which are different on the S and D Pro models compared to each other, as well as the differences when compared to the previous generation. Different frame sizes, different shaft diameters, power assist bumpers, the amount of recessed areas on the frame, second generation NAMD material or flex force in the rackets, and also this CFR material too. When you see this video, I've had a few weeks with these rackets already and I've tested them very extensively over the period that I've had them and I've learned a lot with them. And I did think to myself when the rackets first arrived, how can you get much better than the ones we're playing with right now? And to be honest, I was very surprised at how many segments were redesigned and updated for this new generation. So let's go deep and let me break it all down for you. First off, what do you think about the looks of both the new Astrox 88S and 88D Pro rackets? Until you get used to looking at them, you will be confused what racket is the 88S and what racket is the 88D. But a trick here is to either look at the top of the racket or the T-joint area. The Astrox 88D Pro have a silver top and black T-joint, whilst the Astrox 88S Pro have the opposite, a black top and a silver T-joint. Only remember one and you'll be alright. Additionally, all the silver areas on any of the Astrox 88 series rackets will be glossy and the black areas matte. Also, all models of the S rackets will have a glossy shaft, whilst the D rackets will have a matte shaft. Confused yet? I personally quite like the turquoise blue colour matched with the black segments. I think it looks quite cool and the decals where there's little dots and dashes. To some of you, it's either going to look like braille or bacteria pick one. Either way, I like it and I think it looks cool. You will also quickly spot that there's a strip of grommets at the 12 o'clock section of both models, including the rest of the whole Astrox 88 series. This is the power assist bumper which was first seen on the Astrox 99 Pro a few years ago, but this version of power assist bumper has been specially moulded to snugly fit into the recess area of all the rackets within the Astrox 88 family. There's also little grooves for the mains string to sit on when the rackets are being strung too. They also look and feel pretty aerodynamic without protruding much at all. And speaking of not protruding, the recess area for this generation of Astrox 88 flagship rackets have also been updated. Previous generations Astrox 88s have their whole frame recessed, all the way up to the two U-shaped grommets, which stringers label as grommet B4, as is the fourth grommet from the T-joint. However, this third generation of Astrox 88 S Pro and D Pro have had their recessed area decreased by four grommets, up to the B8 grommet now. Personally, I don't think this slight reduction will have a big impact on performance. We'll find out later. If we now look at the shafts, we can finally see the introduction of the second generation MAMD material, Flex Force, finally being used on Yonex's badminton racket range. NAMD is developed by Nita Corporation, and from what I understand, Nita is using a technique where carbon nanotubes are uniformly dispersed onto carbon fiber, which creates a uniform carbon nanotube film on the carbon fiber surface. Obviously, this is a significant oversimplification of the science that goes behind this, but apparently the second generation MAMD the Flex Force material has improved its physical properties such as vibration dampening, toughness and increased strength too. Yonex has used Flex Force in the shaft of this new Astrox 88S and D Pro to help with quicker flex and snapbacks during shots. Remember to protect your precious Batman rackets from chips and scratches with the premium racket protection tape with free delivery worldwide on ckyw.com forward slash shop. And I want to bring your attention to something I spotted whilst filming these rackets and it's these three little characters that I've seen on the shaft of the racket that says CFR. I've not seen it before on any of the rackets I've reviewed or tested, so after digging a bit deeper, it's a flexible repulsive composite material which Yonex has implemented on the top of the racket frames, right below the power assist bumper in this instance. As far as my understanding goes, CFR is a type of carbon fiber rubber material and coincidentally, the tour and game models of the Astrox 88 will also have a flexible repulsive composite material in the construction, but it'll be a CSR material core shell rubber. According to Yonex, the CFR and CSR materials are used to increase the shell the whole time on the rackets whilst also trying to increase power transfer with that trampoline effect. I'll talk more about CSR in my Astrox 88 tour gameplay comparison, so make sure you subscribe for that. Gone are the four rows of bigger grommets in the 3 and 9 o'clock region, which I've been a fan of in the second generation Astrox 88 S and D Pro rackets, as well as the slightly bigger gaps in between the strings too. Yonex is now using a lot more material science to try and help players 
is get that edge. In terms of measured specs, I mentioned earlier that there's different frame sizes with this third generation of Astrox 88 Pro rockets and the 88S Pro has a bigger frame compared to the 88D Pro. The 88S Pro has a frame height of 23.8 centimeters and a width of 18.7 centimeters, whilst the D Pro has a 23 and a half centimeters height and 18 and a half centimeters width. Slightly smaller and Yonix calls the smaller frame a compact frame too. For frame thickness, I measured the 3U 88S Pro to have a frame thickness of 9.6 millimeters, whilst the 4U model having 9.7 millimeters. Both 3U and 4U 88D Pros have the same frame thickness of 9.8 millimeters. All four rackets have the same recessed frame area, which is tilde B8 grommet. In terms of racket shafts, the 88S Pros also have a thicker shaft compared to the 88D Pros. The 3U 88S Pro had a shaft diameter of 6.95 millimeters, whilst the 4U version was at 6.9 millimeters. Yonex calls the 88S Pro's shaft the super slim shaft, whilst both versions of the 88D Pro had shaft diameters of 6.7 millimeters, which Yonex labels as the ultra slim shaft. All four rackets have the same shaft length of 21 and a half centimeters. In terms of handle length, the 88S Pro's have a handle length of 16 and a half centimeters, whilst the 88D Pro's have theirs at 17 centimeters. Do note that the 88S Pro rackets are five millimeters shorter compared to the 88D Pro's too. Here are also the swing weight measurements on all four rackets. Thank you to Central Sports for sponsoring this video. They have been the home of badminton in the UK for more than 40 years. It's a one-stop shop for every badminton player, whether you're just getting started, a regular club player, or competing at the highest level. Central Sports will cater to all your badminton needs and you can get your favorite racket brands with free upgrades, including getting a free custom autograph on your racket where you can have a flag and custom tags on your favorite racket. Central Sports now also provides shoe and bag customization options for you so you can personalize your equipment to your liking. They look good, don't they? You can check out the store in person and online and remember to always use my discount code of CKYW for additional discounts too. Thank you again to Central Sports. For testing, I strung all four pro rackets with my usual string tension of Aerobite at 27 by 29 pounds and all four rackets have no problems with it at all. Yonex have also rated the 4U models up to 28 pounds and the 3U models up to 29 pounds for string tension. For string recommendation, Yonex recommends the Yonex Aerobite Boost for the hard hitters for the 88S Pro and Yonex Aerobite for the control player. Conversely, for the 88D Pro, Yonex recommends their new Xbox 68 string for the hard hitters and Aerobite for the control player. If you've not seen my review and comparison videos for the Xbox 68 string, check them out here or in the description below. So, how do the rackets play? At least when compared to the previous generation. As my benchmark is my normal racket, which is the second generation Astrox 88D Pro in 4U, I immediately felt both the third generation rackets feel quite different to my old racket. My first immediate reactions and thoughts were they've made the new generation rackets easier to pick up and play, but if you're coming from the second generation, they will feel quite different. If we look at the 4U third generation Astrox 88D Pro first, I felt that my old 88D Pro was stiffer as a whole, but it's not to say the new generation is significantly softer, but after quite a few sessions, I realized they just flex in a more controlled and refined manner, which evidently is very different to my old ones. I would certainly consider the 88D Pro to still be a stiff racket, but as I've said in my Xbox 68 string review, I feel like badminton now is at a stage where equipment manufacturers are developing products which give us that little bit more hold time on the show to help us with control and hence that slightly different feeling. Having more hold time also means less sharp responses as the shuttle sits for that fraction longer on the string bed. I also felt that the new generation 88D Pro might just be a touch head lighter, but only just a touch, which explains why I felt it's faster compared to the previous generation. This probably makes sense as it's got a slightly smaller racket frame to speed it up too. Faster swing speeds always equals faster shows flying across the net. Furthermore, the 88D Pro does have a thinner shaft that gives us a little bit of helping hand with a little bit of whippiness. After a while, the Astrox 100ZZ popped into my head and I thought this 88D Pro reminded me of it quite a lot in response, but actually it's a lot easier to play with compared to the 100ZZ. You will certainly not struggle for power with the 88D Pro, especially when you connect properly with the show, but I did find myself having the occasional shot which I wasn't able to hit cleanly when I'm under 
pressure. I initially didn't realize the 88D Pro had a smaller racket frame compared to the 88S Pro until I measured them, but the smaller frame explains why I sometimes am in trouble and couldn't get a clean contact when under pressure. The previous generation's bigger string gaps and those four rows of bigger grommets helped me big time and I miss them on this generation. If we quickly pause and take a look at the third generation 88S Pro and boom, it's immediately faster than the 88D Pro. The 88D Pro swings smoother in this instance as it's got a smaller frame alongside a thinner shaft, but the 88S Pro swings faster. Again, being head lighter than the 88D Pro and also shorter contributes to the added speed. And similarly to the new generation 88D Pro, Yonex have also made this 88S Pro even easier to play with. I didn't feel like the normal size frame dimensions slowed the racket down at all. However, I also felt that the 88S Pro feeling a bit softer than the 88D Pro in this instance, as I think the slightly bigger racket head is making that slight difference. But I didn't feel the shaft flexing as much as the 88D Pro, as it's got a slightly thicker shaft, which perhaps is better at resisting deformation. I also want to add that the 88S Pro was amazing at short, sharp shots at the front and mid court, such as kills, drives, and counter attacks. The immediate reaction with the slightly shorter racket is really fun and direct. Also, the bigger racket frame also meant that it's got a bigger sweet spot too, and I do like bigger sweet spots. Power wise, it's also no issue as it certainly has enough head weight to transfer the energy from my swings onto the shoulder, although I did struggle a little with the 88S Pro when I was playing singles with it. Doubles, Absolutely lovely. What about the 3U models, you ask? Credit to Yonex manufacturing and quality control, the 3U models were really consistent and behaved similarly to their lighter 4U cousins, reflecting the added weight with more pace on bigger power shots. Obviously, you will get significantly more power, but that also comes at a cost of speed, physical, and technical demands too. I felt I wasn't able to maximize my shot speed and swing speed with the 3U models out of both rackets, although the 88S Pro was certainly easier of the two. The 3 rackets will be lovely for those who seek their added stability and power but have good technique and physicality. I'm certainly impressed that Yonex have managed to make these third generations Astrox 88 S and D Pros easier to play with compared to the previous generation. It will certainly help a lot of us amateurs to have that little bit more control in our game. Yes, there'll be a learning curve if you're like me coming from the previous generation as they do feel differently to what we are used to. If you're someone who's looking for very stiff and extremely head heavy rackets, I'm not sure these are for you. These will be amazing if you're finding the previous generation's rackets a bit too demanding. Both this generation of 88S Pro and 88D Pro have their own strengths. And let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions. Also, look out for the more budget friendly Astrox 88 Tour game for both the 88S and D models alongside the single Astrox 88 play racket review and comparison coming soon. Till then, I'll see you in the next one.